What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back and not for broadcast about a month or so ago I did a tutorial demo uh, video for this game and uh, it was pretty wild. Basically you are a media tycoon. It is a simulator, a newsroom simulator. You're running a whole newsroom man. you're making sure the cameras are on the right person. You're making sure that all the bleeps are bleeped out and the adverts are playing. Everything is on time and no one gets angry at you. Some things uh, may go bad, some things may go right. But you get graded all throughout the entire game. Now, this is the early access version, so there's only three different episodes that are in the game. And they're gonna release more and more. I can only assume it'd be kinda cool if they just release one every week or every two weeks. Technically, they can keep updating this game forever because it's all live action. And then you just have to sequence them together. And also, you can watch your playbacks later on. It's pretty well. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and hop on in. My voice is cracking, man. Uh oh, the fallout. Okay, they cowed at me. Hi, Dave. Uh huh. First of all, let's get the power on. You need to get at least the bottom four plugs on. Right, let's load up the adverts. Adverts? You want to have a bit of a think about it. Your decisions have consequences, don't they? An elegant new skin cream. I'm all about it. Alan James, coming soon to a medium sized hall near you. Right, you can see they Boom. It's really simple, mate. These two buttons at the bottom of the vision mixer, you can see they now have A and B on them. And they're to help you pick image A on the left bottom screen uh -huh. here, or image B on the right bottom screen here. Okay. It's really simple. This little clock here will count down the number of seconds you have to make your decision. Provided you make a decision in that time, you're fine. And you can change your mind as much as you want until the clock reaches zero. But if you don't make any decision, you'll be fired before you even get to make another choice. I just want to say one more thing, mate. The pictures you choose to show of these people, well, that's how the public is going to perceive them. Oh, no. It's going to affect their lives. So like with the adverts, choose carefully. No, and we're off. Good luck, mate. If I get time, I'll call you back in the next break. Yeah, I'm coming, darling. Uh, okay. Really Headline this system initial lesson. Okay. Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. Not the best source of consumer advice, then. Okay. Okay. Explodes going in five, four, three, two. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Okay. Our main headlines tonight. So this is the live feed. This is the feed that's actually going out to the people. First full week in office. We ask exactly who's leading this charge. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the Assets and Wealth Act on the brink of raising living standards for the vast majority of the country, I'll be asking my guests if we're on the way to a new future. Out with the old, All right, the okay. Wellington's fist have appointed Sophia Rimington as their new CEO. The following photo, taken from our archive, gives us a sense of this influential young firebrand who, at okay, the tender okay. age of 23, All right. Becomes the youngest female CEO in history. Boom. Sophia Rimington has Killing always it. Impressed. Killing it. Making sure that she everyone knows that she's a real top notch scholar. And graduated with the highest honors, immediately being asked back to lecture. The markets have responded favorably to Sophia's okay. appointment, with stocks rising 30 points. It's a little too long on there, I, I, in my personal in opinion. In first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehouse. Sophia promises it will be all the rage this Christmas. But concerns have been raised about the product safety. Okay. Making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong, a marine biologist in the Swarsborg and the This is going to be great. This is going to be today great. set off to explore Dante's taint. The recently discovered cave system was previously thought unreachable. Okay. But thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flower technology, the pair hope to successfully reach the imposing central cavern and the undiscovered plant species it contains. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> He's just a widow guy! <laughs> of course I'm going to use that one. Of course I'm going to use that one. However, I'm just telling the news. ...in which they opine, geniuses don't have to like each other 
to achieve remarkable results. Playing the field, rumors abound as sporting legend Johnny Hamsleeves is not leaving Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being named Sports Personality of the Year last okay, year, okay. as reported by this very program. Woo! And judging from the angle and velocity of that spray, it looks like Johnny may have been celebrating a little bit too much. I certainly wouldn't want to be his dry cleaner. And Oof. grievous bodily charge. It's a rough look. With it's a rough look. With promising a radical new position on crime, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country to talk with people who've seen the criminal justice system from every perspective. With more and more powers passing to the police, okay. and less and less oversight, are we using an advanced shaped sledgehammer to crack a nut? All that, a mega move for the group of young actors already experiencing the positive side of the new Assets and Wealth Act first hand. Okay, They'll okay. Be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. <laughs> Got that intro, kid. Now we got to get this interference on the right-hand side, so we got to make sure that the green, the little ball, doesn't hit the green at all. All right, so looks like we got a group, we got a group effort going on here on the left-hand side. We're gonna go to camera one for the introduction, and then we got a wide on two. And it looks like the speaker in the blue shirt with a book. He's an author of some sort. Looking good. Interference is gonna be clear and ready. In the wake of the government's swift and a little early, a little early, a little early, but we're going to get through it. We're talking about Advance's first week in office and what the new future holds. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of Alan James is Right, The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised, but what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves. We're okay. just in okay. prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't. Oh, they don't. I she does not agree. To realize that the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. Here I agree with you. They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. Grand plan, Alan. It's all in my book. Alan James is right. Boom. Jeremy, we're to become the great herd, ignorant, sterile, and short-lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps Advance have just realized that if Whoops. we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption, if you'll excuse the colorful metaphor. Yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. Uh -oh. It's all in my book. Alan James is Boom. shamelessly self-promoting. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Okay, we're As getting back on track. We're getting back on track. ...that the world powers have faced since the last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't And this will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking... Reaction. ...wrong orifices. Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno brainwashing, we'll be laughing then. That might be a great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Oh, oh, oh. Advance are radical, and change is always frightening. But the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act has made more than 90% of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! What this young lady doesn't understand. Gotta censor it, we gotta hit the space bar. Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilized the youth vote like we've never seen before. You say mobilize, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily oh. into eternal Oh, these ratings are going to be so high. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Whoa. Well, based on the facts, Katie, what are your positions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advance now have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as proper okay. funding okay. for Everything's going services, well. they're already un they're already funneling unprecedented amounts into scientific research in the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, Franken science and opi arts. Like opiates, see? Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Alan? This yes. Is the issue. Yes. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals, the pumping it full of belief oh. juice. Don't get me wrong, I want to see oh. these changes. Oh, it's crazy. It's if a silly person. If the lose their power after spending half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, uh, what does the future look like to you, Alan? 
a bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomized into submission. Okay, no, so that. Katie, we might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order before Megan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight okay, on okay. the National Nightly News. On the National One minute back. Boom. Hitting that advert like I it ain't no so thing. Good. I hope so too, Jeremy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hey man, hey man, why'd you call in to begin with? I don't know what she meant by He's zany. That. My man, my man. All right, so now, segment grade A+, plus. we can replay that whole thing if we really jack it up. But, I think it went well. Uh, it shows it went well. Went, went pretty good. So soon, we're going to have another signal pop up, and then we're going to have to feed into that. So we can go ahead and select it. It's not going to go live. But after this advert, it's going to go to my homie, and then we're going to kind of lay out. We don't know exactly what's going to happen next. Five, four, three. Welcome back. In our second segment, we're going to be taking right. a deep dive into the state of law and order in our country. Advance have already tasked what they are calling a solutions team to move oh God. a serious social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to meet the people who live with the criminal justice system every day of their lives. First up, we have Gregory Judge, a lawyer who sees the problems close up on the front line. Can you hear me, Gregory? Can you hear yes, me, Gregory? I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's it like on the front line of a hard face and the cold hand of justice? Well, as you can imagine, back and forth, we got the interference on the right hand side, so I'm moving. This country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Can I get a side screen? A split screen? Being done at a What's happening here? To relieve the Greg, we need more support from ministers. Oh, this is gold. What are you doing? We need change at a structural I'm level, Jeremy. I'm leaving, Greg. Not a good time, darling. It never is, is it? I'll be at my mother's. Just hang on. Just hang on. No, the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. Well, uh, the affairs of the <sighs> Justice so Department that we should be concerned about. Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Jeff. We need. Uh, we need legislation. To relieve the pressure on our public Sorry servant. to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I totally understand. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector. <laughs> Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Next, I'm joined by okay. Chief Constable Bob Peel, a man with a very different and then you're sitting there. on our nation's crime. Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. I'm sure we all long for a return to... Now, the thing is, if we go back to camera two, we will totally be hearing their conversation. Now, later on, after this is all done, we can actually listen to what it was that they were saying. All the bits and bobs. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong, Bob? We'll show you that after this is done here. Got some interference here. Oh. Oh. We've diluted our culture. Sorry. We've lost touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have banned hanging. And to what do you attribute this moral decay? Foreigners, gays and gypsies mainly. Whoa, it's hey, all in the hey, Bible. Look, hey. Leviticus clearly all states that... Oh, clearly Has hanging. he got a gimp? Jeremy, a bloody gimp's estate. <laughs> Delia? Delia, could you give me a little help, please? There's, a, there's so much going on here. He's got a As gimp. I was saying, uh, He's got a gimp. Like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, you think it's the immigrants who are responsible for the moral oh, decay? Absolutely. <laughs> back in your box, Clive. Back in your box, back in your box Clive. Oh my goodness. Hey. Feeding the badgers. Could you put him back in his box? Oh, Is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is certainly not the responsibility of the decent, good, <laughs> white people of this. Oh, hold on just a moment. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. 
<laughs> who's a naughty boy? I'm not having this again. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's, hey, YouTube, what's going on? What's good? What's good? Yeah, we are fine. We don't see it in here. We're good. No one else. Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Jeez. We're locking down the police's position on morality. And finally tonight, hopefully uninterrupted, it's time to get to the heart of the matter. There we go. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison after serving three years for aggravated assault, burglary, and menacing a swap. He's agreed to talk to us today, which is also, I believe, his birthday. Many happy returns, Tony. Many happy returns. Cheers, Jez. Call What's me up, Tony? Bank, Tony? Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Tick wank, Tony. Hey! Tony. Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. I can imagine. Tick wanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Tick wank, Tony. Hey! Yeah, sorry, uh, my friends are throwing me a surprise yeah, party. Uh, Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're trying that you get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tipped wank Tony! Hooray! I don't think it's... <laughs> like how they go, hooray, every time he says it. I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but... Uh, you know, for jail, it's pretty swank. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. Big Chris, yeah, boy, hey. little Chris, boy, hey. and vampire Chris. Chris. <laughs> 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 it's so dumb. Oh, the party just started. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. You just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. Inherently unjust. Oh, so, it's a clown. To, I'm sorry. Clowns and strippers. You are joking. Chrissy Free Bollocks has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. Got it Mr. Fancy. Was. Oh my god. <laughs> it seems like we've caught you at a bad time. Oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. Yeah? Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal no here, Tony. Fucking way. Last police <laughs> Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. Woo! I think we... Yes, Tony? Tony, I mean, we're looking at like 10 seconds. What just happened, Tony? Can you hear me? My man. Well, we obviously have lost our train of thought there. Really. Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. We have. After the break, Megan will be live with some plucky young thespians. Don't go away. We'll be back. After these oh my god. <laughs> mate, I ain't quite drunk. It's been a great night. In this next section, there's a bit of music. If you edit in time with the music, you can see the result on the vision mixer, and the public will love that. Don't worry if you don't, though. You won't get punished for it. Okay. Just okay. try and stay in the groove. Also, one last tip. When the music starts, turn down the broadcast volume. Right, enjoy the music bit. God, I love music. God, I'm so pissed. I think I might go and throw up in a bit. Okay. So we're just introing in. All right, so we're, gonna, we're focusing in on the lady. Camera two. Got it. Got it. Black. I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritch for Sixth Form College who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, okay, okay. Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Winstanley Dash Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. And I believe you two are sisters, is that right? Yes, Charlotte's my oldest. I'm the older, 
more popular one. <laughs> Are you joking? The Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria and I said, hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she'd been laid off due to budget cuts. Fortunately... There's a lot going on in this story. ...when I was at university, so, so I knew the ropes as well. Oh, right, yes, but you're the math teacher, aren't you? Yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra. Math Jeff teacher. Algebra. Math is really important. Oh, thanks, Steve. Math is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As <laughs> it's one of the oldest art forms in history, Aristotle believes. I just think that when we travel around all these problem schools and the poor kids see us, they say, hey... I really want to be like those attractive kids. I and that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. I hate thing. all these people. We touch our audiences, and they touch us right back. I suppose with a surname like Algebra, there was really only one choice of career for me. <laughs> My wife, Angela, and I, we often laugh about it. <laughs> Angela Algebra. Yes. Angela Algebra. <laughs> we just want to bring a bit of joy into people's lives. And teach about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think we're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? Yeah. So that's right. Put okay. in context, I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Okay. Her character doesn't actually have a name. Yeah, because in a way, she's like all of us. It's like a metaphor. Maybe she's you at home, or like, maybe she's you, Megan. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Put it in, coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to have a little chat with your teacher while you run off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> That's it, that way. <clears throat> so, Jeff, hey, friendship. Uh, two days ago. A letter from There's just a lot going on there. Now, the headmaster thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retrieved it from his bin and brought it to me. Wow, how did you react? I also threw it in the bin. But then Harriet and Trey rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page, and next thing you know, we're on tour. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because Angela and I don't usually vote. We were not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course. She's a paraplegic, mainly. But what? we did use to watch that. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a profession. Show back in the day, and so we thought... Uh, why not? <laughs> Let's have a go with this whole democracy thing. Let's have a go okay. with and here we bally well are. <laughs> Good stuff. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> so let's have a look brilliant. at a short section of have a Hey, friendship. Hey. Okay. 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 So we got four and one and two. Dear diary. Dear diary. I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. I'm not sure I can take another day. At this school. Another day of tears. Tears. <laughs> Another day of fears. 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 But still I walk the corridors alone. But still I walk the corridors alone. alone. Dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? I don't know. What's around the corner? Oh, hi Gary. <laughs> oh, heavens no. It's Gary the Fist. Gary the Fist? Going somewhere in the first year? Great. I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning, but will this make me feel better about my violent father? Excuse me, I'm late for maths. It's my favourite subject. It's so important. It's so important. Maths is for losers. What? Maths is for losers. My arm's stuck. Just keep going for fuck's sake. Maths is for losers. Now, give me your lunch money. Double lunch for me today, but Double why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Why am I only truly happy when I'm Not today, Gary the Fist. Not today. Gary. What do you mean not today? Who are you? What do you mean not today? Oh. My arm's three coats. Brilliant, keep going. Well, right. Who are you to stand up to me? I'm Gary the Fist. And you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. These. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. This is like improv. It's the I worst. I fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. Oh. Oh. Here comes the music number. 
Here we go. Oh no. Oh god. There's your face. There's your dumb, stupid face. So hard. It's so hard to like keep keep caring about this at the moment. Okay. Oh, we're getting sexy now. All right, everyone's taking off their coats. Oh, now they're gonna rap. No, they're gonna rap. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Whoa. Bad, bad camera angle. Uh. There we go. The park was hit, but the flats weren't great. My dad used to come home drunk and late, and he hit my mum for dinner. He had to wait. Who was my dinner? It's not ready. Who was my dinner? Okay, okay, okay. We got some conflict. Agreed. Yes, life's pretty hard on a council estate. 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 Let's go. Life's pretty hard on a council estate. Crescendo. Crescendo. All right, so we're obviously going to camera three with Jeremy Donaldson. Uh huh. It's my choice. It's. <laughs> yes, yes, bravo, bravo. If I had a cheer button or if I had a, any kind of button. Thank God. That took a lot out of me. It's the country. My name is Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Woo! Straight killing the game, homie. That was rough. That was so rough. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alan James' book is on the right hand side. It's so difficult to like. <sighs> They're so happy though. Listen. <laughs> A B. We got a segment grade of B. I think we missed a, a swear word in there, and a couple camera angles were off. Listen. Wow, these adverts are so intense. Sorry. Uh, so we got a segment B. It's just like you're taking it back at how long you're sitting there just listening. And I know I'm not commenting too much on it because I'm too focused on like the performance. I, I actually am like, I'm trying to watch this. I'm actually literally trying to watch this. Broadcast complete. A plus in the first segment because we didn't have, really have to do too much. Uh, we got two little dull editing, miss sensor, and then we got dull editing and dull editing. And dull editing happens if you are on one single shot for more than 10 seconds. And then if you are getting a reaction shot, they don't want you to do it for more than three seconds. So that's the reason where that dull editing comes into play, which I think is kind of nonsense. Because you know, I just did two things wrong and gave me a C. I did two things wrong over here and gave me a B. Miss sensor, that sensor's probably gonna be crashing. We're going to crash you. Hello, everybody. I, I see they've got the store back. That's great. I love the Oh, look at this. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Bit, bit of a big night, to be honest. Anyway, over here, that's how much money you've got. Okay. You get more money, the better the broadcast you do. These tabs take you to the bits and pieces and sections of the store. You can fix stuff, you can upgrade stuff, or you can just buy really cool stuff to put around the studio. Okay. Right, mate. And the final thing you've got to know, if you want to 
buy something, you just click on it and go ka -ching! But there's no <laughs> refund. No so take care, make sensible decisions. Don't be like Dave. Apparently, Dave is a real tyrant. All right, so we got all sorts of things. Satellite, I love auto bleep. Auto bleep would be clutch, because that's the most annoying part. That way, you don't have to worry about hitting the space bar every single time someone cusses. Uh, Fanulator. I'm not sure exactly what all this stuff does. And since there's only three episodes, I don't see what we need it. So I don't know any of this stuff. Licks. Masks of horror. I dig it, I dig it. Repairs. I'm just gonna save my cash here for the time being. So here is the archive where you can go into your past broadcast and you can actually watch the episode that you edited together, which is kind of cool. But, like that last one, whew, that was, that was a rough one. That was pretty rough. Ugh. Rushes are the four signals, and this is where you can check the interview, like Law and Order. You can hear him play. Just saying, I'll do what I can. And then we can clip out all of the different vocal tracks from the segment that we already produced. So, say, like the segment with the law enforcement officers, where one person is obviously getting a divorce, yet another person who is a pivot, and then a fourth guy who's just having a good time. And here we go. And we can listen in on his entire conversation with his wife if that's something that so moved you. Hit back, because I don't care. And here's where you can see all the adverts. Alan James Short. Alan James. I'm Alan James. Alan James. Alan James is right. Alan James is right. <laughs> Alan James is right in, in front of you. Very cool. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, it is one of those weird kind of situations where I can't talk over top of it because there's already too much audible things going in my ears because that's where sound goes. You're welcome, if you didn't know that. So it's one of the things where I'm just sitting there and I'm watching and I don't really comment on it because I'm too focused and plus I'm trying to watch my stories over here. So folks, let me know again what you think in the comment section down below because that is going to be your episode for today. If you enjoy this video, by all means, hit that like button, helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening. Good night. Peace out, like shout y'all. I'll check you out right here again. And not for broadcast. Next time.